past Saturday we had an invite to come out to the truck show. We were loaded and ready until we weren't loaded and ready in typical Davis fashion. Nothing ever goes as planned. One of the tow rigs lift pump went down, putting it on the side of the road. One of the trailers had a flat tire. One of our buddies that tagged along hadn't been with us in 25 years to an event. He said, you know what, some things never change. We finally picked up enough hardware to get everything loaded and ready to go. We never tow the 10 door. We love driving that truck pretty much as a daily, but with shortage of drivers and all the kids fighting on who was going to ride, we just ended up towing it out to Dominion Raceway, which is where we spent the day. Checking out the facility, Daniel's family, my family, as Brian's family was off at one of the local mud bogs as his son was winning the power wheels racing. The truck show was a pretty big hit for the first time going over. We had a rock crawling Jeep and several other really cool show trucks in attendance. Uh, some customers from near and far, some new trucks that we had never seen. The 10 door was a big hit as well as the SEMA Tahoe and the Muscles F450. We'll have a better plan for next time as now we know they have a great facility that can accommodate us. The whole time the show was going on, the practice and the qualifying was taking place, so the smell of racing fuel was in the air. They invited us up to the uh, private suite, one of many that you can rent for events. And it was really nice to watch in the air condition for the uh, qualifying. They have a bunch of bartender in these different areas. While eating lunch, the supercars were ripping around the road course. Some days you can actually bring your personal car out here and run, but today was a car rental day where you got a chance to rent these cars to take on the experience of a lifetime. Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Hellcats, lots of different supercars were in attendance. They were zooming around the whole time we ate lunch at the restaurant. It wasn't a bad thing to watch while eating some pizza and some great food. We had a really, really good time checking out this facility, and it was never a dull moment. The kids had an absolute blast all day long, totally occupied, not bored, not one single solitary time. And of course, the adults were having fun as well. After the truck show was coming to the end, we decided to see about having a parade lap around the track. Something that was really cool, and I don't think anybody will really ever get a chance to experience that again. Everybody loaded up in their trucks, and we did a full parade lap. About 20 trucks went around the track while the cars were actually coming out for their first heat lap. The kids loved it. A few of them rode in the back, and everybody had a really, really good time. This facility is something you guys need to check out. They had five or six different classes of racing during the day while we were there. They have an amazing grandstands area. The facility is really just something that's overlooked by many. We had never taken the time to come here, and we will sure be back. All the others that were in attendance had the same feeling. There was just no shortage of action the whole time. There will be another truck show in October, but be sure to check out their calendar because every weekend it seems like they have something going on from concerts to races the road course, and even the drag strip that was down the back section for a lot of Friday night testing, which was really cool. Can't say enough about this facility. We really appreciate them inviting us out. We really all enjoyed it. I don't think I talked to anybody that did not have a good time. It was a long day. The sun was hot. One of the early, early events that we were really happy to get to. So we were able to pack up and head on out. but not before making a couple extra laps right behind the pace car as the race cars actually started We're to come sideways. Through the track. It was pretty amazing. All the kids had a blast. This is a memory that one of the people in Texas will probably never forget.
schedule of their events to upcome with some of the concerts that they have and much other cool, really, really well-organized events at this facility.